Hey there and welcome to this video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create a, an artsy calendar that you can showcase your artwork and offer as a free PDF download to your uh, blog followers or subscribers or whoever you want to share it with. It'd be a great way to offer a freebie and it's super easy to create and you can do it in Canva super vast. Now Canva is a free uh, application that you can use, canva.com, C-A-N-V-A, and the free account, uh, you can create the calendar in the free account, which is great. Okay, so you'll wanna make sure you have a free Canva or a paid account, either one is fine. And then when you, I've already got an account so you can see a whole bunch of stuff going on on my screen. But up here in the top, uh, I want you to type in the word calendar and then hit enter. And then what you'll find is all these different designs for calendars and you can modify them and you can change them. But if you scroll down, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different options. So these are just different templates that you can choose from and they're all um, you know, different layouts. If you want your art to be showing more, you can do a layout that looks like this. If you wanna have it be a little bit more um, calendar than art, um, you can find something like this. This is actually kind of a pretty one. I really like the way this one looks. And I like the way that it has the text over the top of it. So any of these will work. Here's another one that has a small bit of art. And you can click on it and then what you'll see is all of the, um, all of the months will appear in the file. So I'm just gonna scroll down here and see if there's one. Um, one caught my eye, but I'm not sure if that's the one I wanna use. All right, I think I'm gonna go back up and again all you have to do is just click on the one you like and you can start editing this one's kind of nice too it's nice and clean i really do like this one though Ooh, this one's kind of pretty too i like it with the extra color and how that stands out this is nice here it's got like a little overlay um, you can see a little bit of the art or the image behind it but you can still see um, the color in the calendar i don't know if that's the one i want to go with or not um, Oh, this one's nice too. I like this one as well. Um, this one's pretty. It's got a little uh, area here where notes can be written down. And of course you can change the colors. Let's go with this one. All right, so when I click on it, it's gonna bring up the full year and I'm just gonna pull art freebie calendar. Okay, all oh, that looks good. You can see how they've already put in all the content for you and all you have to do is change it out. So it will take just a little bit of work because I want to change all these colors as well. But let's go ahead and start with, these are going to be printed. So you want to make sure you have a good quality image to start with. You want to make sure that it's not a really low resolution or it won't print well. So I'm going to go over to my account. Um, you can click here and upload your images and once you've uploaded all of your art, then we can add them into our calendar. Now, I already have my art added, so all I have to do is just scroll and find the parts that I want. And I just, all you have to do is just drag it and drop it in. Now, there's a filter on this, so it's changed the way it looks. I'm gonna go up here and hit none under filter. And so now it's to the original art. And then I can go over here and click on this box and you'll see the color appear here. And this is where I can change the color. I can click on text and I can also go up here and click on the text box color and I'm gonna choose black. And I can also change the font. So if I don't really wanna use this font, um, I can use a font that's more uh, branded to me. I can change that as well. And then I'm also gonna change the lines as well because I want those to match. And then click on that line and hit the green. Okay, so now super fast, January's already done, right? And that was really easy. So now I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna change this image. So I'm just gonna continue. And since this template has a filter, again, I'm just gonna turn off the filter and I think I might try a different image on that just because it's so close to the other one. And you can do any kind um, of your art, any variety. Um, a lot of these are close-up images of some of my art bits and collages that I've made. And so I'm probably just gonna go in here and see if I can find any, I think those look good. All right, so let's do this one. We'll kind of pull in maybe a pink and that looks really pretty. 
Again, I'm just going to go in and change the lines and everything looks good there. There. Now, that didn't take long and I've already done three months, right? Super fast, super easy. And so I'll just continue scrolling down and I'll continue to fill in. And I can make this a little bit smaller so I can see it. I think 50 was good. Let's go back up to 50. And then I'll keep adding my art and I'll keep changing the images in here. And then what I'll do is I'll show you how to save this file and then download it as a PDF that you can then share um, either on your blog, on your website, or you can use it as a freebie for people who sign up to be on your email list. And then you can deliver it to them and they get to print it out, right? And then I think what we're gonna do here too is what's not included on here is something that indicates who it's from, like who made this. So I'm gonna go back up before I finish and I'm going to add some text. So I'm just gonna move, oops, I'm gonna move that text down. I don't want that text box anymore. And you could do anything. You could do the copyright symbol, or you could do, um, you could just put your website. That, that works, right? And that way, it's on the page. And you can simply make, I think I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller. It's a little bit big, I think, for the calendar. And then just, I wanna space that to the right so that it's all the way over. And then you can see the lines, how they help you place. And then I will copy this by selecting it. I'll duplicate it and then I'll move it down and I'll put one on every page. And so that way my website is shown on every page. You can also, if you wanted to do it on your image, you could do it on your image too. I kind of like it over here and you can obviously make it a tad smaller if you needed to. But I think that's a good idea so that no matter what, you, it, your brand, your information is on it. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the rest of the months and then we'll go into the download part. All right, so my calendar is completed and I wanted to show you down here in the bottom, you can click on these four um, little squares and what it will do is it will show you a preview of all of your it's thumbnails basically of everything and so i can look here and see um, everything that that i've created and then i like to do this sometimes just to double check that i haven't messed something up by maybe duplicating an image or something like that and then i can see right here that these two are too similar so i'll probably swap those out you can also duplicate by doing this or copy and you can also delete just to let you know you can click this X here to go back to where you were. And then I've added my website address to all of the uh, calendar pages. So everything's good. And I think it looks great. I mean, you could put a cover on it if you wanted to, um, but I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. All right, and I also wanted to let you know that when you go in here to the, um, the thumbnail part, one thing that's kind of cool about this as well is that if, these are kind of small, but you can do a screenshot of this if you wanted to like get like a quick little thumbnail overview of all of your little pages, you could do that too. Okay, so let's go back and I'm going to reduce the view down a little bit. And what we're going to do is go to the top at this arrow. We're going to click the arrow. What you want to do is you want to click PDF print because you want it to be the best quality and you want all your pages and then you want to click download. And then what's what that will do is it will download your file as a PDF. And then once it downloads, I'll open it and we'll take a look at it. And PDF is really pretty universal. So most everybody, no matter what device, they should be able to open a PDF. So it's really a good file format to use um, when you're sharing things like this. Okay, it's gonna let you know it's downloaded. I'm gonna double click right here and we're gonna open it up. And so now I'm just scrolling from page to page and you can see every page is in here. It looks great, but that's it guys. That's how you do it. Um, how you uh, create a um, calendar freebie um, for you to share your art and give to your customers or your followers or whomever you want to share it with. And it's a super fast and easy way to do it, um, to just gather up your art, scan your art in and get it into your computer. So there we go. That's it. That's how you do it. And don't forget, there's tons of options 
There's tons of calendar options in here for you to choose from so that you can customize them. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.